Well, we're going to move on from our newest segment, the surprise of the week, to what I'm sure will become many people's favorite segment. I'm talking about the best and the worst of the previous month in the chess world. We're going to do a top five countdown of both the best and the worst moments, and we jump in by acknowledging a great thing that happened to a wonderful person. The wonderful and legendary Judah Polgar had the had a great honor bestowed upon her, the Order of St. Stephen, which I believe is a little bit like knighthood for Hungarians, John. Yeah, I'm surprised they passed me up for this award, but maybe it's because I'm not Hungarian. Yeah, well, I probably won't be bestowed uh, knighthood this lifetime either. So you're not Hungarian, I'm not English, but hey, things happen. Why don't you take us to number four? Well, number four, we just mentioned Top a lot, but we have to mention him again. His play in the Sinkfield Cup has been excellent. He's playing like he was when he was the world champion uh, for FIDE, and he's maybe even playing better than that. I mean, this is a brand new Vince, uh, vessel in Topolov. Yeah, I, I, uh, I really couldn't agree more. The third thing to acknowledge will be a shout out to one of our own events. Probably our biggest event that takes place each month is the Title Tuesday tournament, the next one being on September 1st. And last month, Tal Baron, a uh, Sort of unknown GM, denied players like Akaro Nakamura and Maxime Vache the Grav the top honors. Uh, even Dimitri Andraken was uh, snubbed in that tournament. So we give a shout out to Tal Baron as one of the top moments in the number three slot, and we move on to number two. Number two is Levon Aronian. Is he back? He lost so many rating points last year and had some very bad performances, but his play at Sinkfield has been excellent, and he definitely seems like he's returning to his form. So number two he is on this list, and will be number two on the world soon. Only time will tell. Yeah, we'll see. Well, number one, though it may not have been the strongest tournament to take place in August, it was probably the first major tournament to finish. Maxime Bashi the Grav took home top honors at the Beale Chess Festival, making his way through a very strong field. Of course, there were shout-outs to the Russian Super Final event that finished, but we covered that last week. So in our monthly review, we wanted to give a shout-out to Maxime and move on to the worst countdown. I'm sure people are curious about what we have here. Absolutely, Dave. We start off with the worst in August by, unfortunately, making a shout-out to one of the worst chess games I've ever seen played. Our own FIDE master, Mike Klein, he just got it absolutely handed to him right outside the Chess Club and Scholastic Center of St. Louis. It was caught on camera. The fans the fans had to shut their eyes. It was a massacre. And uh, all I can say is, Mike, dude, pull it together. It, it was so bad, Danny, that I heard the words checkmate. Um, but I hope you can go down there to St. Louis and redeem chess.com in the eyes of our fans. That takes us to number four with Caruana. He had a horrible, horrible start in the Sinkfield Cup, uh, just losing game after game and, and then finally coming out for a draw. This was not the repeat performance from last year. It was sort of the polar opposite. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're going to move on and, and mention something that may have slipped through the radar of a lot of chess players, but quite the interesting uh, little political scandal took place, reported initially by the thechessdrum.net. The chess drum does a great job of... Uh, Tra tracking some of these maybe not exactly headlining news items, but in this case, a book was published by a man from Turkey who apparently copied almost the entire book from an online resource, and when he was taken to, quote-unquote, the court of FIDE for an ethics violation, the man who copied the book, guess who ended up being uh, tried for an ethical violation in the eyes of FIDE? I'll give you a clue. It wasn't the guy who ripped off the content from the website. It was the guy was it, bringing, bringing the charge to the attention of FIDE. Go oh. figure. Well, that brings us to our second worst of the week, and that's got to be Pete's Pathetic Chess. Please check out that column. It was extra pathetic, and, and Roman Gigiashvili has a great feel for how to really uh, sink his teeth into the bad moves, but even he was stretching for analogies to show how weak that chess was. Yeah, Pete, really, dude, I mean, come on. It's pathetic, but can it be a little bit better? All right, I'm going to take us to the number one worst moment of August. I think we have to uh, remind everybody of what took place in the pool. I mean, it was um, it led to an interesting discussion. We talked about it last week, but the truth is the form that Magnus used to make sure his Shamu whale made it to the end, a very questionable technique. Uh, plus, he kind of strapped his, his fellow swimmers, I think, with the worst uh, the worst. Of the, of the available animals. So we're going to give a shout out. You know, Magnus, you're the best in the world, but this month we're going to give you the worst of the month as far as the form you use to win. And uh, we're going to wrap up our best and worst right there.